These are the records of Lab 14. Spontaneity. Gives free energy of a reaction is given by delta G equals delta H minus T times delta S. It's also equal to negative R times T times ln K. In this lab, we will be determining the molarities of potassium and nitrate ions in solution under differing amounts of water added in each trial to calculate the equilibrium constant for each reaction. Then, using the equation William stated earlier, we can determine the free energy for the reactions. <laughs> You'll need potassium nitrate, two beakers, one for a hot bath and one for a cold bath, a, uh, a 50 milliliter or 100 milliliter graduate cylinder. Here we're using a 100 milliliter. And here we have a 10 milliliter graduate cylinder. Also, you're going to need a thermometer, of course, for temperature recording, and most, and probably most importantly, the hot plate. Okay, so first we need 10 grams of KNO3. We need 10 milliliters of water in a graduate cylinder. Your hot plate to a temperature of around 8 or 9. Uh, we take our, our 10 grams of KNO3 and dissolve in 100 and, and 10 milliliters of water oh. in, in, our, in, our, in this graduated cylinder. This process can take some time. So to tide you over, here's some footage of Darren impersonating Kate Winslet from Titanic. I mean like one of your French girls. To prepare a cold water bath, we're going to need to take one of our beakers and fill it two-thirds of the way with water. As for our hot bath, we're going to take our other beaker and fill it one half of the way with water and then place it on our hot plate. Are you going to do a funny little dance? No, that's your department, buddy. To always remember is lab safety. This might not be the lab safety demonstration, but it's something you should never forget. This is what happens if you don't tie your hair back. We aren't even working with fire for this lab, and you don't even have long hair. Well, then why is my hair on fire? Why don't you tell me? Uh, we may have killed Darren. Is Miss Pike gonna take off points for that? Hey guys. Darren, I thought you died. Oh, I'm the ghost of Darren. My soul will not be at rest until I help you finish this lab. Well, if that's the case, why don't you help us hold this camera? <sighs> Note to self, ghosts can't hold cameras. This is what your hot bath step should look like. You're, you're going to put your KNO3 solution into this hot bath so it can dissolve. This process can take some time, so while you're waiting, here's some footage of Darren slipping on a banana peel. When the KNO3 is dissolved, remove this from the hot water bath and place it into the cold water bath. And put in this thermometer to record the temperature. Eventually, crystals are going to form. You want to record the time for when the it takes for the crystals to form, so you might as well use your phone as a timer. When the, when the crystals form, note the time and the temperature. While you're waiting, here's some footage of Darren roaring at William. Rawr. what the crystallized KNO3 looks like. After we, we see our crystals, then we're going to do the experiment again, but each time with three extra milliliters of water, which we will measure out in our 10 milliliter graduated cylinder. We'll, after we've added three extra milliliters of water, we'll, pla we'll place the KNO3 solution back onto the hot plate until it's dissolved once again, and then we will put it back into the cold bath until crystals form again, and, and do that many more times as, as many, for as many trials as you want. It looks like this lab is over. I must go now. Darren, you can't. You mustn't. I must. I'll see you guys in the afterlife.